All right, it's time for you and me to find out where we're going next. That was, uh, that was not one of my guesses. I'm about to head to the airport and I have no clue where I'll end up. I'm Jeb Brooks from greenergrass.com. Here's the deal. My fiance, your creative director, Suzanne, has booked us on a trip with a destination only she knows. I have a couple of clues, but they don't really help much. First of all, I know we're flying from Greensboro to Atlanta and then going somewhere beyond that. That could be anywhere in the world. That's one of the busiest airports around, so it could literally mean anything. Number two, we had to take a COVID test and get a negative result in order to get wherever we're going, so we did that. Now, you might be thinking, how do you pack for a trip that you have no clue about? Well, the answer is she gave me a packing list. There wasn't a lot on there other than I should bring my Jeb shirts, which is apparently a thing. I guess I dress in a uniform. Um, but anyway, she also said to bring a passport. Now, I think that it's possible she said that just to confuse me, just to throw me off the scent. Keep watching in order to see what it's like to go on a trip you don't know where you're going, where we end up going, and even what it's like when we get there. I'll be sure to share some scenes for wherever we end up. So let's head off to the airport. I'm meeting Suzanne at the airport so she can handle check-in and keep me guessing along the way. I think we're going to like somewhere in the Caribbean or maybe Central America. So I'm gonna guess St. Martin or uh, maybe Costa Rica, Central America, something something like that. She's, she's creative in that way. So those are just uh, a couple of guesses. Would you let somebody plan a trip like this for you? Completely blind, no idea where you're going, a total surprise? Let me know in the comments. Heading in with still no clue where we're going. She just told him I removed the app so I don't get any notifications. Maybe I heard Las Vegas? I, I can't tell. So this is, this is the one I get. It's all for now. Atlanta. Seat to Charlie, I'll take it. With my uh, single boarding card, I feel a little bit like a, a kid who's uh, only allowed to have one at a time because he might lose it. Um, but I'll take what I can get. I am starting to think that the passport is just a trick because she didn't need my passport to check in. So I think we maybe don't need that. She gave me a clue. Even if you think you know where we might be going right now, even after we get there tonight, that's not the last surprise. There's gonna be more to come. She was being so sneaky with her phone. All right. Now, boarding boarding's beginning. Can I have a clue now? I've made the flight from Greensboro to Atlanta hundreds of times, but I've always known where I was going. This was definitely a first. There's not much to say about Delta's catering these days. I've covered it in other videos. At a mere 45 minutes, the flight's practically over before it begins. Thanks a lot, have a good one. All right, it's time for you and me to find out where we're going next. I'm just following Suzanne, hoping she knows where she's going. Not knowing where our connecting gate was or how long we had to get there was so weird. Is it Oklahoma City? No. Next stop. Welcome aboard the plane train. Please hold on. This train is departing. The next stop is for E gates. E as an echo. We are moving toward our gate. Just past New Orleans, that could make sense, but uh, she's not stopping. We are continuing the walk. Over there, it looks like it's Ontario, California, but we are suspiciously not stopping or slowing down. The march continues. Portland, Maine. No sign of stopping. Suzanne has informed me our gate is Echo 3. It's right here. I'm about to find out where we're going. All right. Okay. I'm like legitimately, I think I can call it nervous now. All right, we, I can't see it. 
Okay, all right, it's happening now. I'm about to turn and look. San Juan, <laughs> we're going to San Juan, Puerto Rico. That was uh, that was not one of my guesses, um, but I, I could see, that makes sense. San Juan, Puerto Rico. It's a good thing I've been practicing my Spanish. This is awesome. I've never been to San Juan. I can't remember if I messaged or men mentioned that. I was kind of blacked out when I saw it. It's just so exciting. Um, I love going to new places and uh, this will be a, a fun new adventure. I'm told it's not the only place we're going on this trip, so perhaps there will be more videos out of this, but let's get on board and see uh, see what a flight to San Juan is like. Are you excited? She got me. There was no need for a passport on this domestic flight. I don't even know what kind of airplane I'm about to get on. This is crazy. 757, baby. Oh, yeah. Hello. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank goodness for the... Um, the terminal vendor. Is a wrap a sandwich? Let me know. We'll be uh, pushing back Carolyn. Okay. Double checklist, just wait for some final okay. paperwork. Okay. And uh, last minute bags are going in the cargo hold as we speak. Three hours and eight yeah. minutes of flying time. Having in-seat entertainment was great for this three hour flight and Delta's choices, while not as impressive as they once were, were still nice. Atlanta's airport looked beautiful all lit up. If you're like me and think this departure is spectacular, just wait until you see what we saw in San Juan. Keep watching. We even got out onto the harbor in a boat. Barely visible out the window were the Bahamas, but don't worry, there's some pretty spectacular daytime island hopper videos coming from this trip, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. We began our approach into San Juan, and I just can't believe how lucky I am to have a partner like Suzanne, somebody who plans amazing trips like this. San Juan was absolutely incredible, with its beautiful old town, spectacular harbor, and so much history and interesting flavors, you can bet we'll be back sometime soon. San Juan has come a long way since its founding in 1508 by Juan Ponce de Leon. Old San Juan retains its impressive architecture, covered with just vibrant colors. The city has been sought after for centuries. It was attacked by the English, the Dutch, and the United States. Spain eventually ceded the island to the United States after the Spanish-American War at the end of the 19th century. Its harbor is the fourth busiest seaport in the Western Hemisphere, but that didn't stop us from getting out onto the water to explore. Today, Puerto Rico represents the largest territory of the United States, and our trip was only just getting started. Our next journey was even more remote and equally fascinating. Don't miss it. Between now and the next time, see you in the sky. I don't want to say that. Um, would you let somebody plan a trip for you completely blind? It's no problem for me. Suzanne is a travel prodigy. Prodigy, that's not the right word. Because Suzanne is a cha- You know, you think these bloopers are fake, they're not. This is very real. Hello, Jet Setters. I'm Jeb Brooks from greenergrass.com, and I have no clue where I'll end up. Between now and the next time, see you in the sky. I would say I'm distracted. Uh, I do with San Juan, Puerto Rico. Never been to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico.